something he needed. Okay, this is a new channel. I'm not new to go-karting, I'm not new to engines, not new to small engines. My name is Mike. We're going to tear down this Duramax 440 and put a uh, 34 millimeter intake on it, take the governor out, put a straight pipe on it, um, clean it up. It's new old stock. It's been around for a while, a couple of years now. Never had any fuel or oil in it. So uh, here we go. Gearbox all. And there's three ten millimeter nuts after the air filter. In the background, that's Ken. He'll be helping every now and then. Not if he can help it, but hey, we'll we'll recruit him. My stand here. This is my forge, <laughs> but it's best I've got at the moment until we get the rest of this cleaned up. That's Kenny's job. 13 millimeter. Take off the exhaust. One of the studs come out with it. since they're too long anyway, but we weren't expecting that. Tank. Go-karts for 35 plus years, small engines for about the same. How I started was uh, when I was a teenager, I worked at the local lawnmower repair shop. The gentleman who owned the place became a longtime friend of mine, taught me a lot of stuff, mechanic and about life. Much. 
the, uh, I like the fact that they're a 10 bolt side cover instead of the seven. Uh, I like the fact that uh, you can get them, they're plentiful, and they're actually cheaper than the Predator 13 horse 420. So it's not a bad, not a bad engine. of engines. Well, I would like to finally just build some go-karts. Not his favorite thing to do. Alright. Coil. Gasket didn't come off very good, but oh well. I'm, a Numa -coon. I'm not sponsored by anyone. This is not a sponsored channel, at least not at the moment. Um, feel free to sponsor me. Uh, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell button. This is going to be for an off road cart, so. We're not actually going to uh, be zinging 5,500 plus RPMs on a regular basis, so we're probably going to, not actually probably, we're going to be leaving the stock flywheel on it, and we're going to put a second charge coil pack underneath, um, and then, but we are going to put a billet rod inside of it, and 50 pound valve springs, we're going to be doing the, uh, uh, well actually I've already done Governor delete on this, it appears, and uh, then the uh, oil sensor delete on the side. But we're going to go ahead and tear it apart so that you can see this thing and see how it goes and see how it goes back together. family and a wholesome channel. 40 series driver, it's also new. Well, it's crankshaft. The bolt back in so I don't lose it. I'll make sure there's not any oil in this before I get the side cover off. We're going 
engine build series, rebuild series, hop ups, uh, off road carts. Like I said, I've been doing this a long time. I have lots of carts to pick from for our build series. Um, I like old Manco Dingoes and Deuces. I like pin bar streakers. Um, uh, others are okay, but those are my favorite. Again, this is just the stand that I've got it on. If you have a furnace or a foundry, it's best not to do this on top of it. So it'll be easy on it. Ah, there she went. There she went. Barely. Barely pop on it. Don't get worse with it. You don't want to hurt it. Now, in times past, this is where the governor arm would have came through the block and it would have been a little J-rod and it runs a plastic gear and side cover itself. I've already done the delete here. I've already tapped the top of the block. I've already tapped the side of the block where the oil cutoff sensor was and it's already been deleted out of the inside of the block. That can be done and lift, left inside, just cut the wire. But I went ahead and pulled it on out so that uh, we have extra volume for oil inside here. When you're going to zing these as high RPMs as we often do, you, uh, you want more oil. So anyway, uh, this is where we're at with it. I'm thinking, I don't remember if I used 7 sixteenths or 3 eighths here. This has been tapped and blocked off. And after thinking about it, I've decided I would like to put a brass 90 degree elbow here. And then I would like to run this to a puke box as the return. And the puke box from the valve cover, that the, since we're putting a Makuni on it, now it'll just, the hose will just be vented down to the atmosphere in most applications but actually I'm going to run it to the puke box as the supply and then the return back in the top of the block so I am going to do that cleanliness is your friend when it comes to these engines <laughs> 